dear devotees mm. yeah before the start of the satsang third saturday welcome all of you some of you are new some of you from houston some more are expected uh, half way through i congratulate uh, professor krishna mardi or oh, i call mardi krishna murthy aka ragu mama we affectionately call him ragu mama for the for his uh, hsc of unt is a uh, is a professor there so ragu mama one is department one 148 million dollars of a grant from the national institute of aging national institute on aging sorry belongs to nih baltimore and 148 million dollars is the highest amount ever won give him a big hand <laughs> this is the beginning of the satsang and uh, any not known to me nobody is uh, nobody knows 148 million dollar grant he himself said this is the highest largest grant ever received by any university now unt gets that award and then he is one of the reasons why they awarded him i wish one day is uh, uh, ophthalmology research gets him 1140 this is 148 248 million dollars in his name that will be the biggest award i am hoping for congratulations okay dear devotees such achievements are possible Ten years ago, he would be only dreaming. Today, he is far ahead in his uh, eye research, glaucoma research. Pretty soon, in one of the sessions, I will tell him that he has got a very big uh, worldly award for his glaucoma research, along with two more associates. Any of you who is reading the emails I am sending? Uh, I said uh, in, in uh, conjunction with and in continuation with the last email, last lecture, seeking answers. I said. devotees with intense devotion know for fact that uh, shirdi baba has an answer or he himself is the answer that's a very powerful statement just like, just like varahi man he himself is the answer i said i am going to elucidate with some of the examples in the very restricted time that i am given on a third saturday i can talk about ambal and rajaraj chodan for the next 2 hours straight from the autobiography of rajaraja chodan not punneen selvan son of punni that's also rajaraja chodan and then to some extent rajendra chodan who among themselves won the whole of india 1000 years ago i still remember because my memory is very eclectic and a very strange memory i have i can produce my conversation with rajaraja chodan verbatim i often do much to the concern of my wife because 1000 years ago how do you remember this conversation when when i did the conversation i get the book the english book of pony in selvan and the conversation is there i have not read that so this is the power not of me this is the power of the sadguru and this is the power of the ambal i we worship we all worship every day therefore i said that he is the answer but then how come he is the answer is it shirdi baba is the answer right so there is a imaginary conversation is the mic okay imaginary conversation between shirdi baba and one of the top notch devotees you all will be thinking i am the top notch devotee mama is going to talk top notch devotion has to follow several things one of them is b plus c is equal to total surrender and then what is preventing you from following the equation Albert Einstein said they told the Truman the then president of the United States that I really regret that you followed E is equal to mc square and built an atom bomb in the deserts of Arizona in this country of course pretty close Arizona and then destroyed Hiroshima and Nagasaki and then now somebody is threatening we will drop the same bomb on the european little european beautiful country and then he gets a threat that from our president that we will use the same bomb and destroy part of russia particularly the nuclear plants under reference see that every day on the prime time there was a regret if you know albert einstein's life there is a regret even he was dying on the sunday at 2 pm he told in german his mother tongue that i still regret a atom bomb was made 
The last sentence was never translated except by his son Robert, who became an electrical engineering professor at UCLA. Professor knows. His son. One son went to lunatic asylum and the other son went to California and became a professor. This is karma. Einstein's two sons, right? Coming back, he had an answer, but that answer appeared to be wrong. Right. Every answer of human beings is wrong. If you think you are the mightiest devotee, that may be wrong. Because Baba says in this conversation, what is the seeker of truth should do? Who is the seeker of truth? He's a disciple. And then the master is Shirdi Baba, right? And then he says, the seeker was questioning, arguing like normal human beings all the time with everybody, including the master. Then it happened, happened to see a friend who was living in Bombay. He went to Bombay, and then when he went to Bombay, he heard about the greatness of Shirdi Baba. Today you heard the greatness of Sri Varahi Amman. You will never forget because you see, in the famous Navaratri that you celebrated one week ago, finished two weeks ago, one day belongs to her. But then you wouldn't know the history that Raja Raja Chodhan popularized. Raja Raja Chodhan popularized several things, among them two other things, Bharatanatyam and then Ambal. Bharatanatyam in his court, along with Carnatic music, he popularized. He was a very artistic king, but then fighting all the time with his sword. That sword was presented by Sri Sri Varahi Amman. The master heard in Bombay, the disciple heard and then told the master, now I hear. Now I hear ya. Hear your voice. Who are you to assure? Disciple says. Master Baba says, I am the spirit of love and truth. I am Shirdi Baba. Straight answer. Then uh, the disciple says, where were you all these years, all these days, when I wanted, when I was crying, like the devotee in Karnataka state who told me this was last two months ago. Where were you when I was crying? But then Baba, when she was crying, Baba came. We will deal with that short story later in 15 minutes. I am the spirit, I am the absolute truth. But you are not here. You say, are you, are you just saying, you just, you just left me desolate. I was crying for you, you were not here. Master says, you were desolate because of the following reasons. Beautiful conversation. It is a kind of imaginary conversation because you imagine sometimes, right? You envision that you are talking to Shirdi Baba. There is a devotee sitting here. She talks of Shirdi Baba. Of course, I talk with Ambal and Shirdi Baba every day. That's my second nature or first nature. My second nature is all the attributes of a human being. Now here, you are desolate, Master says, because pride was your companion. Pride satisfied you. Pride. Out of pride comes the six enemies. What are all the six enemies? Anybody? Kama, Krodha, Loba, Madha, Matsarya, and Moha. Moha, Madha, Matsarya. Six enemies. Right? Loba is greed. Kama, Krodha. Krodha is enmity. Anger and enmity. Krodha. Laba is greed, I told you. Moha, you know. You are getting attached to so several things in life. That is Moha. Matsarya is jealousy. You are jealous because Raghumama. Raghumama's colleague will be jealous because he is getting the award. Sri Sri Narendra Modi award and he is about to, he is one of the finalists of Nobel Prize for his research. Cell biology. Like Albert Einstein, who didn't win his Nobel Prize for several people say this theory of relativity. You are relatively right, but relatively wrong. He didn't win the Nobel Prize for that theory. He won the Nobel Prize as a novice. He was described as when he was holding the post in a, some, some income tax department or some patent's office. Department. Patent's office, he was doing some drawing, photoelectric effect. For them, he won the, for that effect, he won the Nobel Prize. Now you know, right? Everybody to, told me in this country, anybody, all students say, General theory of relativity. The theory that went wrong in 1996, that didn't win him. Similarly, here, people will be suffering from jealousy because he is nominee for Nobel Prize. One day he will be. Baba hasn't told me yet whether he's going to win, the three members are going to win or not. That depends on how early they get that pill for glaucoma. If he gets it next week, 
the nomination process is over for this year. We will wish next year he's one of the nominations for Nobel Prize for Medicine. I've been saying this for a long time. It's not today. Am I right? I've been telling it for five, ten years because I am interested in that research. Just like I'm interested in this disciple, this conversation, the cause of suffering, Baba says, is a desire. Desire for everything. You have desire for that home. You have desire for that, uh, you know, Texas-made home furniture. Home zone. You can go and buy in home zone. APR is only 1.9, right? Other things are 3.9, 6.9. Cause of uh, suffering is that, and then that desire leads to passion. No, passion in this home, if you are very careful, you would have read the three framed notices. Sri Vijay and Srimati Anu are defining. You say, be a good man, whatever you are in life, neurosurgeon or an IT like Ron, or upper nose mom, who at this age wants to become something great. She told me in the temple the other day, am I right? She wanted to become something which is, I was taken aback at this age. If she wants to become that at this, at this age, I can go to medical school and get a degree along with my daughter, perhaps. Sit in a corner and watch everything. I'm a senior citizen, I won't pay any fees. <laughs> That's one of the conditions. If you want me in the class, no fees. In the application for medical school, my daughter is going to say, my dad would attend the school with me. I'll be good, uh, 78, 80 years old. I was, I'm all praised for that uh, lady, Aparna's mother. What is passion? The other post says, passion, do everything with passion. That passion is different. Do everything with an ideal. Do everything with a cheer on your face. With bright eyes you do that. That is the passion. This passion is a human weakness. And Baba says, what is passion? It's a huge definition. I'll say some of those things. It is slander, evil gossip, backbiting, profanity, fault-finding, peevishness, irritability, quarrelsomeness, surliness, jealousy, malice, irritation, resentment. You want some more? Combat, you add it? No, no, she said no. Okay, I stop there. Another big list is that This is passion. Baba says, desire leads to passion. So don't slander anybody, Baba says. Don't be jealous of Raghu Mama. Don't have irritation. Don't reply. Tells every woman who gets angry at the husband. Slightest move. Slightest provocation. Some women and some men. Don't worry, some men <laughs> get irritated. This morning somebody said, my husband is not at all giving me enough uh, this thing. Relationship. That story I'll come. So I said relationship is very different. I'll define the relationship. Can you please come to Texas all the way from India and see me? Two days I'll give you a lecture. Actual life, very young people, 30, 33, and then he is about 36. I'll come to that story. Please explain, the disciple says. Passion, when Baba defined the passion, you understood, but our disciple, oh, ki tarah baat karte. <laughs> said, I don't understand. Please explain. Sorry for the... South Indian language, English. I am just mimicking. I am just mimicking. I am very fond of mimicking. Telugu, English, Hindi, English, much later in the lecture. You have to wait. I shall explain further, the master says. Passion includes Krodha and Loba. All this thing I defined, okay? A man becomes a miser. He becomes a little more than an incarnated heap of gold and silver because he invests. He goes to fidelity investments and he invests. He doesn't even take care of his wife's medical condition. He goes, keep on investing. And then when you keep on investing, your keyboard is your mother and father. You will keep on moving. Just like the World Bank H building in Washington, D.C., Pennsylvania Avenue, in the H band, third, third floor, if you go, World Bank, people will be investing billion dollars in uh, two seconds. They'll be moving billion dollars. Anybody worked in World Bank? I've seen my friend working, so that's why very with authenticity, I can tell you. And he will come home, and he'll come home with migraine every day. He'll get severe headache. His solution I won't talk about, okay? Evenings. I stayed with him for a week. Every evening he'll go for a walk and apply his solution. I said, don't do that. 
Because when you are investing billions of dollars, be careful. In those days, bitcoins was not there. They say they'll move this into European investments, into India's, uh, you know, some famous company, Reliance Textiles, and then American company, English company. So he keeps on moving every time, moving, and he will keep on watching. He will have four monitors. He will go crazy. So that is why he says greed, that is loba. Passion leads to krodha and loba, enmity and greed. And then you keep on investing. There is no pity in such people. There is no love. There is no kindness to others. And moha, I told you, is attachment. Madha is dullness and matsarya is jealousy. Finally, all these things, Baba says, it leads to ego. Ego completely destroys a man. Because ego is a person, the man with an ego, the, anybody, a person with an ego. So he's occupying a very big position in an industry. It's a huge industry. And then he's a top-notch fellow, next only to see owner. And if he gets into ego, what will it do? Baba says, it will lead him to bigotry, self-assertion in, in season and out of season. It shows an obtrusive show of wealth and power. It is gaudy in behavior, gaudy, nice, nice statement, I like that. It is very gaudy in dress and then behavior. A fellow who is suffering from this ego, Baba says, and he's uh, got a very domineering attitude. He will dominate everybody, including his uh, owner of the industry. Because ego leads to all these things unbeknownst to you. And then he's busy scolding everybody, he will find his face on a mission of fine fault. I'm sorry, fault finding. Fault filing mission. I have seen such people with ego, they destroy themselves ultimately. I'll go back suddenly, 950 years ago, Raja Raja Chodha never had ego. He will conquer the North Chalukya, he will conquer the Sri Lankan king and the queen and the daughters and the sons. He will bring them, he had built a palace. Never in the history of any kings, the world, monarchs who rule this world, only this Bhumi. This Bhumi is also not the Bhumi that Charita Amrutam defines. This is Bhugolam. On this Bhugolam, Bhumi is very vast, according to Sri Charna. On this Bhugolam, no emperor treated an enemy like this. The wife of the conquered king and the daughters were all treated with special meals, special rooms in a special palace. Those palaces were destroyed by the invading Islamic kings who conquered Tipu Sultan, Tipu Sultan fought those Islamic kings and then Raja Raja Chodhan stands your special uh, way, the, 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 the roof of the Vimanam were laced with gold and then the Islamic king. That's another story. They all stole the gold and went away. They would have carried the king's wives and daughters and sons, but Raja Raja Chodhan treated them with the greatest respect. That is why Ambal favored him. If you want Ambal's favor, treat your woman with the respect and love, respect, and a gratitude for all that they do. This is one of the lessons I teach people. I teach women also. And therefore, he says, a man in ego, he will find fault with his wife. The man in ego will destroy his wife. Of course, he's on a road to destroying himself, I told you. And therefore, don't suffer from ego. Ego is man's worst enemy. Of the six enemies, one of them leads to ego, one of them leads to all these things, and therefore, Oh, Master, you have given me a detailed description of the evils to be avoided. You have sent me a very difficult task because the disciple says in Bombay, desire is deep-rooted deep -rooted in my nature. Passion binds me fast to earthly things. Not this passion, the passion of the six enemies. Desire, passion, and ego are my very self, are the very incarnation of myself. Therefore, how to conquer? Baba says tremendous things. I wanted to start with this conversation and then attachment of the mind, how to get rid of that, chant, chant his glorious name, chant my name, sing my glory to conquer all these enemies, he says. All right? Baba said all these things. How do you prove? Very often we know that lectures, bookish, bookish knowledge, all these things will not help you attain self-realization. Self-realization for the modern IT man or the modern neurosurgeon or the modern marine engineer or the PhDs. 
is bookish knowledge, experience. But actually, bookish knowledge doesn't help you on the path, on the spiritual road. I'm leading people only on the spiritual path. Spiritually, I'll tell you everything about all these topics. Spiritually, if you excel, Albert Einstein in his later years wanted to become very spiritual and understand God. If you read his, uh, the 19 books that I have, the Isaacson book says, Albert Einstein came to love God much later in his life, after Nobel Prize, which anyway from the ship he got the news near Japan, South China ship, he sent. In those days he didn't use the Zell or Chase Banks, anything. He just sent the check. He asked somebody, he was so popular, he told the check, send it to Germany to his former wife. Unfortunately, he married his cousin, Elva, in New Jersey, Princeton, he lived with her cousin. He should have actually married her to begin with. But in the Polytechnic, Zurich Polytechnic, professor knows the story. He fell in love with uh, his uh, first wife. Anybody's first wife's name? Milova. You said that? Were you living with Albert Einstein? That is the right name. Sometimes I forget. That's why for long-term memory, I go to her. She gives me the answer. For short-term memory, I'll go to Varahi Amul. Yes. She's also worshipping Varahi Amul. Long-term memory, nobody can excel her. She said Milova. That is the right pronunciation and the name. Am I right? Ragumama. Albert Einstein came to God much later. He said, I should have come to God much earlier. Because God's value, Einstein came to know he is the best person to many people in the world. He is the best person. There are better persons in the world. But then too many books have been written. His eyes were gouged. And then his doctor was taken in a van in 1954 in the southern United States. All the way he started from Atlanta. You know that story. His brain particles, after his death, they did the post-mortem. He chipped off his brain and put it in a chemical. It was on exhibition in the van. If you don't know, this is a true story. Shiva, you know that? His eyes. That uh, he was his lawyer. His lawyer wake up, will wake up every day and uh, in the glass, Einstein's eyes were there. He will come and see behind himself and then see the world through Einstein's eyes. What a man. He wanted to see his brain chips were there. So when he took them on the road to Arizona, to California, he raised funds and then those eyes and the brain chips of Albert Einstein's brain, they are now, this question, for a thousand dollars you wouldn't know except professor, they are in Israel. You don't know this. Or perhaps she knows. <laughs> in Israel, the bottle is still there. If you go to Israel, Tel Aviv University, if you happen to go there, go off and see his eyes and the chips of his brain. No neurosurgeon ever found out why Einstein had this tremendous tendency for science and the tremendous weakness, I didn't say that, tremendous weakness for math. math. We're very poor in mathematics. No, I didn't say that. <laughs> when I am coming to this story of Albert Einstein and others, for a reason I said that. There are people who wanted to excel uh, even without looking through Einstein's eyes. One of them was Ramachandra Vaman Modak. Modak lived contemporary of Shirdi Baba. I have told so many stories similar to R.B. Purandare. If your leg is hurting, please take up a sofa. Yeah. You are very young, but then uh, sitting. Uh, for a long time, the lecture will be interesting, but the knee doesn't understand the lecture. <laughs> Neither Raja Raja Chodan. It might understand as part of your consciousness of Sri Varahi Amman. Modak was a government auditor in Pune. He was living in Sadashiva Pet in Pune. He was a senior government auditor in the municipality of West Kandesh Division, very famous headquarters in Baba's times. And he was uh, centered in Mumbai, Bombay in those days, and he left his wife and children at Dulia. Very briefly introduction, okay. This uh, Ramachandra Vaman Modak 
had a very checkered and interesting life with the Shirdi Baba, like everybody else, like all of you. You are trying to invent Shirdi Baba. Every time I cover something, last time, searching for answers, today, Shirdi Baba is the answer. One of them is, the one who said that was Ramachandra Vaman. The other one will be Ramachandra Atmaram. Thurkad, this is Modak. And in 1912, the most famous visit of Modak came into his life. The opportunity was revealed by none other than Shirdi Baba. You are here today because Shirdi Baba has invited you. Don't think uncle's email typed by Sri, our dream girl, ah, Sapna. <laughs> our Sapna ji types the email and several of you uh, type a question to Sapna ji. <laughs> Sapna is in, a, in the, <laughs> the square in a corner. She is cornered by all your question. She calls me, uncle, one more question. <laughs> okay, one more answer. Uncle, without your permission, how can you answer answer? It's a difficult question. What's the email. I tell them, next time, next month, she won't send it to Sapna Garu. Two, two, three more people from India will send it to Sapna Garu. Because email has Sapnas. Name and number. Dulia, he leaves. He hears a lot about uh, Shirdi Baba. Hairs on end, having goosebumps, he thinks, I should go and meet with this God on earth. In the meantime, there is a departmental examination. The departmental examination is a ruse for uh, Ramachandra Vaman uh, Modak because his uh, English boss thinks, we will sack this fellow. The current scenario in several of the IT departments. Agar ab buddhu ki tarah kaam karte hain, to yehi hoga. Same thing will happen. They will conduct a test and then you failed in the test. They won't tell you the marks and all that. You failed the test and therefore I'll give you three, for 15 minutes, collect your stuff and then go. You are fired. Modak faced this situation and he wanted, the boss said, you appear in the departmental exam. So he was making 120 rupees. In those days it's like 250k. Uh, for 90, like Ron making 250k, 125k, no, 125 rupees only. Modak was making as a senior auditor. High school teacher was Shama was making three bucks, three rupees a month. Because he had the privilege of peeping through the window straight on Shirdi Baba because the school was next. That's a big privilege. You IT people don't have peeping chances. At home, you can peep into the next room. Your husband will be working on two monitors. <laughs> Or maybe three. Radha Krishna is wondering. Mama is not saying in every room you will have a monitor. <laughs> he was wondering, this question I must ask Shirdi Baba. So 1912, he says, I don't want this opportunity. 120 rupees is enough. So he is going to Shirdi. When he went to Shirdi, he says, I went straight to Shirdi, straight to Dwarakamai. It gives me and the opportunities to be in the presence of Baba. He says, when he was talking to Sri Sri Narasimha Swamiji, he says, care leaves the soul when you are in front of Shirdi Baba. Same sentence he said in Hindi mein bataye te. Care leaves the soul. Worry free, care free. Remember Mrs. Engineer? She went there, so many millions of questions. She had conjunctivitis. Baba looked at her and his eyes started. Tears started coming up. It started swelling and then Mrs. Engineer became all right. I'm sorry, Mrs. Manager. I'm sorry, Mrs. Engineer. I was thinking about cricket. I was talking to a young man here about Farooq Engineer, 1955. Swashbuckling batsman and a cricketer of Indian team. Ron, you were not born that day. You were saying, yeah, 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 I know. <laughs> oh, he's meaning previous Janma. Yeah, he played with Farooq engineer. He was Salim Durani, the spinner. He's saying, yeah, yeah. So, on this day, he's thinking, I'm straight, like Mrs. Manager, looking straight and then care leaves my soul. Next day morning, he was so happy. Next day morning, straight from Satyavada, he goes there, 7 a.m., thinking that he can go. You know the reason he wants to fly back? Yes, Sin Shirdi Baba. He did not get the permission of his supervisor. 
He did not tell his team. There are four clerical people. He did not tell the team. I say, sabko chod ke, sanyasi bana ke. He came to Shirdi. Everything he left. So he's now wondering what will happen. My clerks find out my seat is empty. My supervisor, my boss, English boss, he comes there, 1912. He comes there and he will, he'll let him So what shall I do? So he's going there. He's not giving the Udi and permission. Baba has to give you Udi and permission. All of you know. All those who are listening. Otherwise, you can't leave, like they say in this country. You can run, but can't hide. You can't even run from uh, Dwarakamai. Baba will make you cross only 8 kilometers, Upasini Maharaj, 68 kilometers. After that, every you keep on walking, 8 kilometers only. What is this? Miracle, mother of all miracles. So, Baba could do that. So, Shama, on the fourth day, he is inter intervening on behalf of everybody goes to Shama, right? You know Shama. He will go and uh, pull, pull the cheek of Shirdi Baba and said, four days, why don't you give him permission to go? Because he has left us this thing. He came here without the permission of the supervisor. Baba looks at him sternly, look at, looks at Shama, says, did this fellow come to see Shirdi Baba, Shri Shri Baba or you? Very stern, or you? And then he turns around and looks at uh, Vaman Modak Sahib and then looks at him and says, Please tell me, you came to see me or uh, this fellow, Shama. Shama is already shaking. And then uh, Modak says, Nahi sahab, to obvious, amma, aap se milne ke liye. I came only to see you. And therefore, chup chap ho gaye, Shama. Now he is not leaving, therefore, Shama is also keeping quiet. And then he stayed several days, give him leave to go, other people come. But then he does not give him anything. On the fifth day, night, he gets a dream. Kon Modak, Modak Saab gets a dream. I saw there in back home that, that his young daughter in Dulia, in the dream, the young daughter is saying, Papa, you have come back. I, we have all been waiting for you. You have come back. The dream goes off. On the fifth day, night, fifth day, sixth day, morning, he goes and then uh, talks to Shirdi Baba, said, Can I go? Even before he said, Can I go? He said, he takes the Udi, go, you go, don't even look at me, go, on his own accord. Take the Udi and chale jau, either say, bhag jau. That's what we say in Hindi, right, bhag jau. When he went there, on hearing this, he wanted to know something else. He said, bhag to jayenge, I am running, but where should I go? In Bombay, if I go, the test was going there that day and the next day, six. His sixth day in Shirdi. If I go to Mumbai, my supervisor will force me to write that test. And that is a rose to gillet in me. If I go to Dulia, I'll be happy because my dream will be confirmed. He's just thinking, where should I go? Baba says, your family is waiting. Very softly he says, smiling, your family is waiting. Your daughter is waiting. Confirming the dream. Waiting, go to Dulia. That's it. Shama pushes him out. Because once you take the Udi, you got to bag jana. So when he goes to Mumbai, after Dulia, is it an interesting story? Yeah, last night you didn't sleep, right? Yeah, Baba came and dreamed continuously. No clerk was saying, Aap to absent hai for six days. Six days you were absent. No clerk said that his boss came and said as if six days were one minute. The boss came and smiled. How are you? Modak Saab? How are you doing? Everything is okay. And then there is no rush. So everybody said, okay, everybody is fine. So he was very, 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 very happy. During the six days, he saw Shirdi Baba. That was a behemoth of a spiritual experience. And Modak said in my email, what did I say? Shirdi Baba has the answer. Intense devotees know. Or Shirdi Baba himself is the answer. Modak found out. Shirdi Baba is the answer. This person has very checkered, interesting experiences all his life with Shirdi Baba. I can only cover, because I am covering four or five interesting uh, devotees in every satsang. I can't keep on talking about Modak. He has got tremendous, like R.B. Purandare, he built the home in uh, Bandra. In those days, Mumbai Bandra was a forest. Wild animals. Baba said, build own home. Why? 
He built a home in one month. Probably foundation was not there. He built it anyway. It was shaky. Baba came when he opened, when he did the Satyanarayan puja or whatever puja he did. Baba was there to inaugurate the home. And then the walls became strong. You have to understand why I said that. Because the next story is Sadashiva Rav Tharkad. This is not Ramachandra Rav. Ramachandra Atmaram Tharkad's brother or son. This is Sadashiva, Sadashiva Rav Tharkad. He had Sadashiva Rav Dikshit. Okay? These two persons had enormous experience. Sadashiva Rav Tharkad lost his job. He was making thousand rupees a month. I won't compare anything, thousand rupees, rupees a month in those days. He lost the job and then he is just like losing one's, both the limbs and one eye. He felt like that. He was wondering, he was talking with so many people including uh, uh, Tarkad and others, famous people. And then uh, Shirdi Baba, <coughs> he came to Shirdi because Tarkad Saab said, you go to Shirdi and stay there. When he came to Shirdi and then took leave from Shirdi Baba, he was very happy. Baba told him, go to Bombay via Pune. In those days, Pune. Go to Mumbai via Pune. He didn't understand. Mrs. Tharkad, Sadashiva Rav Tharkad's wife said, if we take the Manmad Express straight to Mumbai, the ticket is only half. If I go via Pune, it's going to be enormous money. We don't have that kind of money. It's like traveling to India by, uh, by Qatar Airways or Air India by first class. Instead of huddled in an economy class like this, in the first class you could even sleep. Your head, leg will be, your head will be somewhere in a hole, leg will be somewhere in a hole, your body will be seen outside. So when the lunch comes, you won't see the head, you will go away. That is first class in Emirates and other business class, first class, okay? We happened to walk through and then found out all these secrets. Therefore, he says, what is it? Mrs. says, we will take Manmad Express. That day they went to station, Manmad Express was cancelled and therefore they had to go to Pune. They went to Pune, stayed with a friend and then look at this. The friend said, my friend is looking for, he's got a very big mill. He is looking for a very efficient manager who is pretty good, specialized in labor relations. Our friend Sadasivar of Tharkad, has got uh, Dikshit. Sadashivara of Dikshit is an expert in labor relations. Next day, the friend said, go and meet. He went and met. He got the job. The salary was a mighty, princely 2,000 rupees a month. Baba said, go to Mumbai, go to Pune and then go to Mumbai. So, is it not uh, an answer? Is he not an answer? Don't you see parts of answer in Shirdi Baba? He is live in the picture. You come to this puja. You ask for uh, prices. Professor Rav asked for Nobel Prize. Professor wants a uh, directorship of this thing because his qualification richly deserves those things. Our Sri Ramayan wants a promotion. He doesn't want to join Microsoft. It's just, 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 just a simple example. Because Microsoft may not be handling, he wants to join Sundar Pai's Google. Okay. Sundar Pai makes Google you know, doubly efficient. I'm talking about Mr. Sundar Pichai, okay? American TV says Sundar Pai. <laughs> I got used to that. <laughs> Shindhi Shindhi Jyoti, Jyoti is wondering, who is Sundar Pai <laughs> in IT world? The casual looking, bush shirt wearing, even sometimes the button is missing. That gentleman is called Sundar Pichai. We have got very interesting anecdotes about that. Uh, most intelligent chief of uh, Alphabet, vice chairman and then chief of Google. But then this lecture is not on. Mr. Sundar Pai, some other day. He got the job. Similarly, the answer is Shirdi Baba. Getting a job for Sadashiv Rao Dikshit. Now, our Kaka Sahib Dikshit had a younger brother called Sadashiv Rao, a lawyer by profession. They were all headquartered in uh, Nagpur. Some, some nuggets, okay? Some vegetarian chicken nuggets for uh, morning star chicken nuggets for your soul. Your soul should know all these things. That's why the first nugget was Varahi Amman, I introduced. The second nugget, and then several nuggets are going to follow. This fellow was working in Akpur. Oh, it's not a 
a lawyer by profession, but a little bit uh, dull. You remember? Moda, Matsarya, Moda, Moda means dullness. Some people are dull. They are born like that. You can't complain them, you can't point a finger. You've got to improve their dullness, meaning reduce the dullness. <laughs> Sorry. Improve their. How do I say? What is English? Teach me some English. Uh -huh. Okay, all right, got it. So, reduce their dull dullness, take them out of the dullness. There is no moda in them, okay? And therefore, he failed in Nagpur, and then they came to Baba, Shirdi Baba. Shirdi Baba suggested that Shraddha Shiva Dikshit should go to Bombay. He went to Bombay and worked, because the brother is a very big devotee and a very big lawyer. Even the British people used to come to him. And he will win any case. He goes to court, he will win that case. Okay? He went there, got a job. The fellow is not very thing, dull, right? We have taken him out of his dullness a little bit. He failed there in Mumbai. Okay. They came to Shirdi Baba again. He said, okay, let him work in uh, elder brother's uh, firm. He worked in elder brother's firm, Kaka Sahib Dikshit. And his dullness never left him, therefore he failed again. Kaka Sahib was wondering, is Shirdi Baba okay or shall we leave him? Such doubts you get, right? Kaka Sahib Dikshit had that doubt. <laughs> Shirdi Baba says, I have been uh, like... Uh, I've been seeing him, I've devoted all, all the case, trunk full of money I'm giving him. Actually, he did, right? That story. In another, some other satsang I said, one trunk full of silver coins. He just kept quiet. Baba just gave it to everybody. Yeah, one heap to you, one heap to Sharda, one heap to Anu, one heap to Sapna. Oh, did I leave uh, Ron? One big entire trunk to Ron. <laughs> He's very intelligent. So I gave him a lot of money. And to Archana's mom, at this age, she wants to do mighty big things. 83. And therefore, he failed. Could Sai Baba be wrong? Is, Is he, he wrong, wrong or right? right? He had this big doubt of his life. So, <laughs> he went to the masjid next. Baba said, Diwali is around the corner. Uh-oh, Diwali is really around the corner. 24th, I think, Monday. Uh, sorry, Mandi. <laughs> I mean, in India. Monday night Diwali. Some people, people will be, be watching, watching Monday night, night football and then enjoying the crackers. Oh no, enjoying the sweets. Baba said, wait until Diwali. Diwali ke baad jao. After Diwali you go. Okay? And then you will get the job. On the day of Diwali, they were enjoying the sweets. This fellow was sitting there. I can't enjoy this thing. Suddenly, a long lost friend comes from Gujarat, from Kutch. He tells Kaka Sahib Dikshit, my Kutch, uh, what is it in those days, king, uh, the Kutch prince, princess, they got a bank, call it Prosperity Bank on Campbell Road, okay? <laughs> I see that every day, <laughs> Prosperity Bank, it's not Chase, okay? Prosperity Bank, the Prosperity Bank in Kutch wants, is a real bank here in this region. Shilpa may not know, she came from Chicago, so. This bank needs a very able, very reliable chief manager. And then our Kaka Sahib says, can I recommend my brother? And then the recommendation was accepted and became the chief manager in Kutch for the princess bank, the Raja's bank. And then his salary, I told you 1,000, 2,000. Arithmetic progression, 3,000, right? Geometric progression, I don't know. I'm very poor in maths, that's why I'm called Einstein. No more jokes on Einstein, more jokes on me. Poor in maths. So 3,000 rupees he got in that job. He was very, very happy, extremely happy. He found an answer. Because if you don't have a job after doing a PhD, and you are uh, rumbling along, you are, you know, fiddling your thumb, looking at the ceiling through the window in Chicago. Mighty big PhD, University First. What good is the University First unless you make $200,000 a year, right? That is my question. That, that is where it. these people remember. In Shirdi Baba, I have an answer. One of the devotee's story who is here. She had a terrible stomachache which kept her from sleeping. 
March 2020. She couldn't sleep because her abdomen was uh, king. In those days, she was seeing a doctor for some other mild reason, and therefore she had headache. She was taking several medications, and therefore that introduced stomach pain. Several uh, Ayurvedic medicines were tried. Her dear husband uh, tried all the udi that uh, were in, the, in that home, and then nothing worked. The husband suddenly remembered, "Are you too busy, Gaya? I forgot. Today's mail brought from Shirdi a udi packet." we will mix mama sudhi with that udi packet instantly he went to the mail they had a big home he went to ran to upstairs and got the mail and then mixed mama sudhi with that udi she drank in water the stomach pain was gone as soon as she drank the water that devotee is sitting here in this congregation today i'm not going to name because naming is not the name of the game these days some people do understand me thank you for understanding this devotee is a famous devotee i won't say anything else about qualification you will instantly look at that person she is here therefore that person found out his ways are mysterious this is a mama's ways are mysterious this mama's mama sitting there, there. his ways are very mysterious and very inscrutable or my ways mysterious or my ways and inscrutable or my behavior and this i was about to name no no names the same person enjoyed another miracle if i show the picture except my wife nobody else will understand there were she suddenly developed can i show the picture okay i'll put the blame on my uncle she developed blisters on her hand when she developed blisters on her hand oh i'm sorry i'm creating blisters on the mic blisters on the hand she took mama sudhi oh uncle sudhi yeah uncle used to give udi in the name of shridi baba and because of that power he imbibes into that udi you get all right therefore she applied the udi that night within 2 hours the bump the serration the redness was completely gone and then uncle will believe her she took another picture without the serrations without the redness okay without the redness she has interesting anecdotes to tell you about shirdi baba baba sudhi in this case i wrote baba sudhi in 2020 has the answer baba has the answer i told but baba sudhi also got an answer baba's anklet will have an answer baba's ganges water from his toe will have an answer baba's chatka will have a big mother of an answer some days baba's shama also will have an answer shama will have an answer such being the case other people followed other people followed to find an answer this devotee in india today is full of indian stories because some devotees went to india and came back just last week i myself was in india looks like only yesterday but it's around Two and a half, three months. Three months of uh, delirium, happiness, sleepless nights because I am thinking about uncle and the satsangs. I am happy some people will understand the delirium behind my statement. Now in 2002, a very intimate devotee of Shirdi Baba was pregnant. she delivered a baby in january of 2002 i should also say that devotee is not here i told you india right to hear the two minute story they don't fly huddled in the economy class i just now told you you choose the first class your head and toe are missing <laughs> true story uncle doesn't lie emirates first class she wanted an answer she was an intimate devotee 
she delivered the baby i told you january 2002 doctors came in the deliverer the delivering doctor she found the baby's one leg one leg tender baby gaga gogus baby go 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 baby one leg during delivery rolled up no it was not limbless rolled up completely it is not the case as uh, you know all mothers know all fathers also know the legs are straight and then it was pulled up rolled up completely and the doctor said the child is tender i will not pull the leg oh oh the devotee says my daughter my lovely face and everything one leg is okay one leg is completely rolled like this uh, the doctor said it's very difficult to pull maybe she will grow up with a rolled leg very crude answer coming from an md she didn't accept the answer but she didn't know the answer pitiable thing but then she knew shirdi baba was the answer she didn't have the answer the doctor didn't have the answer either the nurse said we are only nurses we are only 60% doctors we may try but then the leg will get cut off tender baby and therefore she cried out she bailed out shirdi baba ricochet on the walls of the hospital everybody came along with everybody an old man walked into the delivering ward he came straight for the baby real story 2002 told to me by the mother the man very old man came looked at the baby not at the mother the mother of uh, sai old man came oh i told sai that was shirdi baba came and just touched the leg the mother was seeing the leg getting unrolled he just looked at the mother smiled and then walked out in a jiffy turant chale gaye in a jiffy the leg was all right again 2018 fast forward in her life 2018 means 16 year old boy i met with the boy i met i saw the picture of the rolled leg doctors giving up that has rolled completely tightly it will come up but for sai but for the ultimate answer the leg won't unroll and it happened right in front of her eye and therefore the devotee mother saw it all and then 2018 her life she went through several ups and downs uh, in the roller coaster of her life in india uh, her circumstances changed the complexion of her life entirely once she developed because of the com- different complexion of life she developed migraine when she was going through migraine in 2018 in india she told me in front of a 16 year old son i had migraine i didn't know i have seen answer coming in the shape in the rupa of shirdi baba and therefore i cried out shirdi baba will you come and then touch my head i don't want this headache i don't want this headache and then as soon as she said that word i don't want a strong hand touched her hand her head for close to 3 minutes she told me i could feel the hand very strong hand 5 minute 4th minute the headache was gone headache was gone and my son i smiled see migraine sufferers and constant headache sufferers i get headache every morning for the last two years every morning seven days a week used to be five days now it is seven days i have developed a lifestyle of tolerating it looking at his picture because my wife makes an extraordinarily nice coffee much better than the 151 151 coffee popular in dfw maybe in the country for dollar 51 you get a nice coffee i am told i am trying to find out the shop in denton tap road it is there oh oh i meant it is there yeah can they make a coffee better than my wife professor says no thank you for the compliment i compliment her every day my headache goes away when i drink start looking at her coffee my headache goes away but then uh, baleful uh, shouting 5 minutes but then uh, she knew that baba has the answer she didn't know the answer for any of the things in life but then this time she didn't see the answer 
Baba touched only the hand. She saw part of the answer. Baba was not seen. He knows when to show the answer to your devotee. He knows part of the answer, one third of the answer. Complete answer some people get. When you get the complete answer, you win. Whatever you are wishing, you will get it. This devotee, several times she told me long, long, long stories. Her own lifetime in India will be a wonderful story. She has gotten very close to Dwarakmai. And then on the roadside, about four or five miles from her home, is a roadside temple, ignored and neglected by the you know, people who drive. She went there about 10 years ago and then started doing Abhishek every Thursday morning. Thursday morning, 4 a.m., she gets up. Is it 4 a.m.? Yeah, she told. She gets up 4.30. Nana, dona, sab kuch karke. And then she doesn't drink anything, not even chai. She goes there and does the Abhishek at 5 a.m. Her sister, if I'm right, sister and her father, they go, sister goes every day, along with the 16-year-old boy. Now he's 22, I think. They all go there and do it. And then everybody, after seeing this for the last 10 years, every driver of a car stops the car and then does namaskar and then goes. Now the drivers gradually get off the car and then do namaskar. We were driving through that road and then we stopped the car, got off. There is a Shirdi Baba temple. Two days later we came to know this person. But then before knowing the person, before knowing the answer to the person, before knowing the person that belongs to the answer, before knowing the answer that belongs to the person, we went to the temple, stood there. My wife said, this is a great vigram. Somebody is doing Abhishekam every day. Two days later, we met that person. She gave a story, said, I am the one who is doing Abhishek. I am the one who is doing. She has gotten so close to Dwarakamayi. Now, she has an answer in Dwarakamayi. She told me, I have answers in Dwarakamayi. Please tell the whole world. That's why without divulging her name, I am telling, on your behalf in India, I am telling everybody that Shirdi Baba has the answer. In Dwarakamayi, you will find an answer. I am not vehemently saying it. My uncle is saying, the one who belongs to the answer, says that I have an answer. And in that answer, you have several other answers, subdivisions. Like glaucoma research, you have to find out A is the inhibitor or B is the inhibitor. Am I right? I should not go wrong in your research. Tremendous postdoc research he is doing, he is teaching medical research. One day he posed this question to me in uh, night at about 9.40, 9.41 on 6.35. Taking an exit, he asked me, after exit, he asked me if, I, if I'm right. Inhibitors, I don't know. Double negative, I don't know nothing about, I don't know, sorry, anything about these inhibitors. I don't know nothing means I know everything. Not in this country, in India. In this country, I don't know from Adam, I don't know anything. I told him I don't know anything. No, I know. I told him the inhibitor. Did I not say? That was an answer coming from the answer. The uncle who has the answer, who possesses all the answers, the subdivisions, and he got the answer. He said, NIH says the same thing. And therefore, Mama, you are incredible because you are, I said, my answer is incredible. Because it is coming from the one who emanates the answer. Is that right English? The answer is emanating from him. Yeah, better English. That is why I bring all of you to Dwarakamai. She's so lucky at 83, she's going to start another, another life. She's in for several answers. In the temple during Navaratri, I met with Srimati Aparna and Aparna's mom. She said, I want several answers. I'll talk about that next session. Please come. I am planning to come. My daughter is going to take. Your mother is going to take. Now she's listening to part of the answers. There are bigger, bigger, mighty big answers. I told this story. What is a mighty big answer? Do I have five more minutes? Or can we start the puja? Five minutes? Five minutes? Only five minutes. <laughs> Gentlemen, start the watch. In this country is a phrase. Gentlemen, start your engine. It's a phrase in USA. In India, you go and say, Gentlemen, start your engines. Sir, I don't have a car. <laughs> Give me the car and then the key. I'll start the engine. 
I'm very fond of some parts of India talking in English. A unique saint, Shirdi Baba, five minutes, oh, already 30 seconds I wasted. No. Baba would often test that debit, oh, sorry, the depth. Bank, prosperity bank. Baba would always test the depth and the intensity and the integrity of your faith. How does he test? How does he test and then show you the answer? Kuch pani pilayenge? Hame. Wrong expression. BVG pani pila hai. My wife is giving me water. That's the right translation. Your sincerity, thank you. Your sincerity was testing the couple in Chennai. That is Chennai, India. A couple living in a place called Annanagar, West Annanagar, had a daughter. She was around 36 years living in India. And she was doing her advanced degree at the famous, famous college in those days in India, Indian Institute of Management. <coughs> in the state where Professor and Professor's wife were living long, long ago, one century ago, called IEM, Indian Institute of Management, and Ahmedabad, Gujarat capital, right? Sri Sri Narendra Modi's country. A reserved, see, this is a very reserved spot. She was very intelligent. She was doing a PhD in an area, very eclectic area. And that research she finished and got her PhD. That quality and the integrity of her research has not been surpassed by any other research in that area till this date. Such a mighty big research. Her marriage was fixed with a, an excellent devotee, a Swami. You know Swami? How many people do not know Swami? Raise your hand. No, everybody knows Swami. Swami's book, With Love, Man Becomes God, is a very popular book. Swami, of course, Satyam Shivam Sundaram, is lectures in Chennai. Wherever you go, Satyam Shivam Sundaram, his weekly bhajans are very, very popular. In fact, Satyasai bhajans, Guinness Book of World Record says, they are the most sweetest, most eloquent bhajans in the world. No other language, even Mayans 3,000 years ago in Guatemala, they didn't have bhajans. They were leading like Indians, life, quality life. So this Satyam Shivam Sundaram, that gentleman who was an IT manager in a small uh, shop in Hyderabad, he graduated at the Satyasai Institute in Puttaparthi, and then uh, they got married. They met in a workshop done by Swamiji. And the Swamiji used to conduct several workshops. They met and uh, fell in love. When you meet Swamiji, love at first sight. Sometimes among the congregation, love at first sight, right? So love in Puttaparthi, we will call. Like love in Simla. Love in Puttaparthi. And they married. They started living very happily. Nope. I told you, your intensity of devotion. Baba, before he gives an answer, he will test you. The depth. Is it depth? Yeah, not depth. Depth and the character of your devotion. They were not exempted. They went to Satyam Shivam Sundaram. And then love, marriage, and a good life was interrupted by the husband's cancer. He developed the cancer in the very first year. One year they lived happily. In the second year, he was down with cancer and therefore started treatment. The treatment in, uh, uh, you know, Puttaparthi, there's a big research hospital started by Sri Sri Swamiji. So they cured him. Within a year, he got cured. But then they were some more. He was completely the thing, remission. He was declared. He started delving deep. After remission, he started researching. And as he started his own company, startup we call. In the startup, he started delving deep 24 hours a day. In the basement of his home in Hyderabad, he started researching. And the wife, a PhD, never had companionship with, us, with her spouse. They started regretting. It is love at first sight, right, in a workshop done by Swami. Swami knew, perhaps, but then they didn't meet Swami. Great devotees of Swami. This PhD, this wife, was and is a great devotee of our uncle, Shirdi Baba. 
And whenever she used to contact me, I said to me, I say, Baba has an answer. Do not worry. Baba has an answer, and he himself is the answer. I have told that person. The husband is a Swami devotee. Never uh, bothered himself to call me. Not necessary. He goes to Swami. He can come to after probation she period with Swami. Swami he will come to. Right. They suffered a lot, and then and then the startup. He wanted an answer for the startup. He wanted to make millions of uh, rupees and then millions of dollars. It around the world, people say he can come and stay in the United States. But then, uh, after finish her PhD, she had an excellent job in Usmania University. She was enjoying her job. She started teaching extremely well, and then uh, one year of marriage, they started drifting away. The marriage was up on the wall, as you say, and then they started seeing counselors, marriage counselors, marriage counselors. The best thing they do, no offense meant to any counselor here. In India, they saw counselors. One hour here, it is six hundred dollars. They will multiply it by eighty and then add multiply by two, double the amount. Simply in maths, and then they tell you lots of things, and then uh, all these things are not practicable. So they lose. They put their hands into your pocket deep pockets they steal your wallet what's in your wallet those counselors were asking and then after losing a lot of money she called me i said my dear she's about 36 37 mama we are drifting away uncle and then i said the shirdi baba says his answer would bring you closer his answer is a mighty answer his answer will give you Yes, solution to this problem. After all, you got married in front of Swami, and when you got in front of married in front of Swami, why do you depart? Why do you go away? That is not why you marry. That is not the understanding you give your husband. What is space? What is startup? I started telling what is startup. How men starting startup, even women, in the startup you get confused. You get different results. the great giant very rich man once world number 1 or 2 bill mr bill gates when he had a startup he had millions of questions in florida he went to meet some chairman of this thing he didn't even give interview he came back he jumped from the second or third floor in howard university i mean he was a drop out he didn't jump a <laughs> professor said what he said that he was a drop out In fact, when he went to Boston, we talked to the guide. Show us where Bill Gates jumped from. Mark Zuckerberg jumped. He showed the window. I'm not lying. He showed the window. This is the window from which he jumped. Mark Zuckerberg. Oh, that's another building. Okay, where is John F. Kennedy? Oh, that's a tough nut to crack. We'll find out. She was going through her guide. Oh, that building, John F. Kennedy. There's a picture. Kennedy studied in Harvard University. Incidentally, for the younger generation, John F. Kennedy was the president who was assassinated in Dallas in 19. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. 62, November 63. Oh, between that one year, he got assassinated. I know that people fell in love with John F. Kennedy. Several people, in fact, fell in love with John F. Kennedy. In fact, he understood. Everybody understand, but the story here is. they fell in love in uh, swami's workshop and therefore i said the very meaningful answer will come to you now the couple is happily living because they are what is the sentence they are part of the answer given by shirdi baba they have now become an indivisible part of that very mighty big answer with capital a n s w e r because you belong to that answer you can never hear any time in your relationship what once she thought 10 years ago the space he is not getting into my relationship no he is not giving me friendship no companionship of course no vacation in tahiti in taho lake or in kutralam india right kutralam in tinnavelli district of tamil nadu we are not going to gorakhpur and lumbini but place of lord in this country they say buddha Lord Buddha, Buddha. I have lived in Gorakhpur. Motorcycle, same guy. The Lumbini. That road looks like Switzerland. Anybody who travelled by motorcycle, 
1974. Lumbini from Gorakhpur Road, you got to enjoy. It's as good as Switzerland. Why I said this? These people now today are living most happily. Wonderful relationship. This lady and the gentleman, his startup is very successful. I got to say that he is making a lot of money in IT. Definitely in the room, somebody is asking, one of them will be wrong. Mama, can you give me the phone number or the address? I'm going to apply for that company. Because he wants to make 500K. He just came to the United States just the other day. Very ambitious man. And very intelligent man because he eats fish every day. <laughs> I got to say that. How come Syndicate Bank in India gets all POIs as chairman? POIs belong to Konkan community. Konkan, Konkan, Konkan. And they eat machli. How many of you will eat machli in today's uh, prasad? There is no machli. Can you make morning star machli for the next satsang? 100% vegetarian. Ladies and gentlemen, dear, my dear Bhaktas, this couple found an answer. I am sure you will find an answer. We will start the puja. And in the puja, there will be a bigger answer. Some of you will see through the puja, see through the ashtotram, and find indisably covered in the statements I make 108 times an answer. That answer will help you. That is the answer you are looking for, an answer. The master of that answer is sitting in front of you. And therefore, Come to the answer every month. Come to the answer every third Saturday. On the calendar, in your monthly calendar, November, December, January, I, I seek, seek the, answer. the answer. I'll go to lecture, Mama's lecture, one hour lecture, and find a new answer. Every lecture will have a new lecture. That is why Sri Kant Ramayana, Sri Ramayana, and his dear wife, they are looking for answers, they are getting answers. Whatever appears in that mind, very bright people, they get answers. I started this lecture with Professor, congratulations. He will find the bigger answers, bigger and bigger and bigger answers. And his family will live forever basking under this answer. It is a glorified answer. And that is the answer. Thank you so much. The Ashtotram was written by Sri Sri Narsimha Swamiji. In his life, he was running for answers. He ran up to Arunachala Mahan, left him, went to Upasni Maharaj in near Shirdi, left him. He fought a case for him and won, several million dollars case, by 27 families. He won the case, went to Samadhi Mandir in Shirdi. There, the answer was waiting for him. And then, he wrote the Ashtotram. Om Sri Sai, Sri Sai Nadaya Namaha. Om Sri Sai, Sri Lakshmi Narayana Namaha. Om Sri Sai, Krishna Rama Siva Maruti Yati Rupaya Namaha. Om Sri Sai Goda Varitada Shiladi Vasine Namaha Om Sri Sai Bhakta Hirdeyalaya Namaha Om Sri Sai Sarva Hirdeyavasine Namaha 
ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி பூதவாசாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி பூத பவிஷ்ய பாப வர்ஜிதாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி காலதீதாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி கால காலாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி காலாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி கால தர்ப்ப தமநாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி மிருத்துஞ்சயாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி அமர்த்தியாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி மர்த்திய அபய பிரதாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி ஜீவதாரியாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி சர்வதாராய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி பக்தாவன சமர்த்தாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி பக்தாவன பிரதிஜாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி அன்னவஸ்ரதாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி ஆரோக்யக்ஷேமதாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி ஆரோக்யக்ஷேமதாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி தனமாங்கல்ய பிரதாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி ரித்தி சித்திதாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி ரித்தி சித்திதாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி புத்திர மித்திர களத்திர பந்துதாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி யோகக்ஷேம வகாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி ஆபாந்தவாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி மார்க பந்தவே நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி புக்தி முக்தி ஸ்வர்க பவர்கதாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி பிரியாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி பிரியாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி பிரீத்தி வர்தனாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி அந்தர்யாமினே நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி அந்தர்யாமினி நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி சச்சிதாத்மனே நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி நித்யானந்தாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி பரமசுகதாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி பரமேஸ்வராய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி பரமாத்மனே நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி பரபிரம்மனே நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி ஞானஸ்வரூபினே நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி ஜகதபித்ரேய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி பக்தான் நாம் மாத்ருதாத்ரு பிதாமகாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி பிதாமகாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி பக்த அபய பிரதாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி பக்த பாராதீனாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி சரணாகத வத்சலாய நமக பக்தி சக்தி பிரதாய நமக ஞான வைராகியதாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி ஞான வைராகியதாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி பிரேம பிரதாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி சம்சய ஹிருதய தௌர்பல்ய பாப கர்ம வாசன சயகராய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி ஹிருதய கிரந்தி பேதகாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி கர்மத்வம்சினே நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி கர்மத்வம்சினே நமக சுத்த சஸ்வஸ்திதாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி குணாதித குணாத்மனே நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி அனந்த கல்யாண குணாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி அமித பராக்கிரமாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி அமித பராக்கிரமாய நமக ஓம் ஸ்ரீ சாயி ஜெயினே நமக 
ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಜೈನೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ದೂರ್ದರ್ಶಾ ಶೋಭಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಅಪರಾಜಿತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಅಸಾಕ್ಯರಹಿದ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಅಸಾಕ್ಯರಹಿದ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸರ್ವಶಕ್ತಿಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸ್ವರೂಪಸುಂದರ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸುಲೋಕ್ಷಣಾ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸರ್ವಂತರ್ಯಾಮಿ ನಮಃ ಮನೋವಾಗತೀತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಪ್ರೇಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸುಲಭದುರ್ಲಭಾಯ ನಮಃ ಅಸಹಾಯ ಸಹಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಅಸಹಾಯ ಸಹಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಅನಾಥನಾಥ ದೀನ ಬಂಧವೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸರ್ವಾಪ್ತು ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಅಕರ್ಮಾನೇಕ ಕರ್ಮ ಸುಕರ್ಮಿನೇ ನಮಃ ಪುಣ್ಯಶ್ರವಣ ಕೀರ್ತನಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಪುಣ್ಯಶ್ರವಣ ಕೀರ್ತನಾಯ ನಮಃ ಪುಣ್ಯಶ್ರವಣ ಕೀರ್ತನಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ತೀರ್ಥಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸತಾಂ ಗತಯೇ ನಮಃ ಸತ್ಪಾರಾಯಣಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸತ್ಪಾರಾಯಣಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಲೋಗನಾದಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಪಾವನಾಗಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಭಾವನಾಗಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಅಮೃತಾಂಸವೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಅಮೃತ ಅಂಸವೇ ನಮಃ ಭಾಸ್ಕರ ಪ್ರಭಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಚರ್ಯ ತಪಸ್ಸರ್ಯಾದಿ ಸುವ್ರತಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸತ್ಯಧರ್ಮ ಪಾರಾಯಣಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಿದ್ಧೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಿದ್ಧೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಿದ್ಧ ಸಂಕಲ್ಪಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಯೋಗೇಶ್ವರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಭಗವತೆ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಭಕ್ತವತ್ಸಲಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸತ್ಪುರುಷಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಪುರುಷೋತ್ತಮ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸತ್ಪುರುಷಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸತ್ಯಧರ್ಮ ಪಾರಾಯಣಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸತ್ಯಧರ್ಮ ಬೋಧಗಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಕಾಮಾದಿ ಸದ್ವೈರಿ ಧ್ವಂಸಿನೇ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಅಪೇದ ನಂದಾನುಭವ ಪ್ರದಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಮಸರ್ವಮತ ಸಮ್ಮತಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಾಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ ರಮಣಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ ರಮಣಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ವೆಂಕಟೇಶ ರಮಣಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಅದ್ಭುತಾನಂದ ಚರ್ಯಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಪ್ರಭನ್ನಾರ್ತಿ ಹರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಂಸಾರ ಸರ್ವ ದುಃಖ ಕ್ಷಯಕರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಂಸಾರ ಸರ್ವ ದುಃಖ ಕ್ಷಯಕರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಂಸಾರ ಸರ್ವ ದುಃಖ ಕ್ಷಯಕರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸರ್ವವಿತ್ ಸರ್ವತೋಮುಖಾಯ ನಮಃ 
ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸರ್ವಾಂತರ್ಬಹಿಸ್ಥಿತಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸರ್ವಮಂಗಳಗರಾಯ 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 ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸರ್ವವಿತ್ ಸರ್ವತೋ ಮುಖಾಯ ನಮಃ ಸರ್ವಾಂತರ್ಬಹಿಸ್ಥಿತಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸರ್ವಮಂಗಳಗರಾಯ ನಮಃ ಸರ್ವಾಭೀಷ್ಟಪ್ರದ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಮ ಸರ್ವಾಂತರ್ ಸಮ ಸಮರಸ ಷಣ್ಮಾರ್ಗ ಸ್ಥಾಪನಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಮರಸ ಷಣ್ಮಾರ್ಗ ಸ್ಥಾಪನಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಮರ್ಥ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಸಾಯಿ ನಾದಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಾಯಿ ನಾದಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಾಯಿ ನಾದಾಯ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಶ್ರೀ ಅನಂತಕೋಡಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಂಡ ನಾಯಕ ರಾಜಾಧಿರಾಜ ಯೋಗಿರಾಜ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಚ್ಚಿದಾನಂದ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಸಾಯಿನಾಥ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿನಾಥ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕಿ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿನಾಥ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ ಕಿ ಜಯ May you, all, may you all get the answers you are seeking. Now let's do the Aarti. <coughs> 